Stretching 72 miles down the east coast of Florida, the Space Coast is known for some of this country's most historical events. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was here that man first ventured into outer space and eventually landed on the moon. The Space Coast has changed a little since the golden age of the space race, but a quick visit to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex will put you right back into that glorious time when the United States persevered and slipped the surly bonds of Earth. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. In today's episode, we'll visit the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex and experience history firsthand. The peaceful serenity of the Rocket Garden holds some of the full-size launch vehicles that powered the earliest Mercury and Gemini programs. The gigantic Apollo Saturn V Center is the resting place for the largest vehicle built by man, the powerful Saturn V rocket as well as everything related to our visit to the moon. And we'll also visit the shuttle launch experience at Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. It's the safest way to feel the thrill of being an astronaut without actually leaving Earth. Then finally, we'll talk with two of NASA's best and brightest, who will explain how studying the past will help push human spaceflight into the future. So buckle up and join us as we travel through history. Thank <laughs> you.